warm greetings from TNM Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about ISO 25010, which is system and software quality requirements and evaluation. However, let us first take a look at the key takeaways of this session. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand what is ISO 25010 standard all about. Product quality characteristics as per ISO 25010. Difference between ISO 25010 and ISO 9126. And the last one is why software quality is important. So let's start our discussion and talk about what is ISO 25010 standard. ISO 25010 titled Systems and Software Engineering Systems and Software Quality Requirements and Evaluation SQUARE Systems and Software Quality Models is a software quality standard. It describes the models consisting of characteristics and sub characteristics for both software product quality and software quality in use together with practical guidance on the use of the quality models ISO 25010 describes two quality models first one is the quality in use model composed of five characteristics some of which are further subdivided into sub characteristics that relate to the outcome of interaction when a product is used in a particular context of use the second one is a product quality model composed of eight characteristics which are further subdivided into sub characteristics that relate to static properties of software and dynamic properties of the computer system the characteristics and sub characteristics provide consistent terminology for specifying measuring and evaluating system and software product quality they also provide a set of quality characteristics against which stated quality requirements can be compared for completeness the quality model is the cornerstone of a product quality evaluation system the quality model determines which quality characteristics will be taken into account when evaluating the properties of a software product the quality of a system is the degree to which the system satisfies the stated and implied needs of its various stakeholders and thus provides value those stakeholders needs functionality performance security maintainability etc are precisely what is presented in the quality model which categorizes the product quality into characteristics and sub characteristics let us now discuss the product characteristics as per iso 25010 the product quality model defined in iso and iec 25010 comprises the eight quality characteristics which are first one is functional suitability this characteristics represents the degree to which a product or system provides functions that meet stated and implied needs when used under specified conditions this characteristics is composed of the following sub characteristics functional completeness degree to which the set of functions covers all the specified tasks and user objectives functional correctness degree to which a product or system provides the correct results with the needed degree of precision functional appropriateness degree to which the functions facilitate the accomplishment of specified tasks and objectives the second one is performance efficiency this characteristics represents the performance relative to the amount of resources used under stated conditions this characteristics is composed of the following sub characteristics time behavior degree to which the response and processing times and throughput rates of a product or system when performing its functions meet requirements resource utilization degree to which the amounts and types of resources used by a product or system 
when performing its functions meet requirements. Capacity Degree to which the maximum limits of a product or system parameter meet requirements. The third one is compatibility. Degree to which a product, system or component can exchange information with other products, systems or components and or perform its required functions while sharing the same hardware or software environment. This characteristic is composed of the following sub-characteristics. Coexistence Degree to which a product can perform its required functions efficiently while sharing a common environment and resources with other products without detrimental impact on any other product. Interoperability Degree to which two or more systems, products or components can exchange information and use the information that has been exchanged. The fourth one is usability. Degree to which a product or system can be used by specified users to achieve specified goals with effectiveness, efficiency and satisfaction in a specified context of use. This characteristic is composed of the following sub-characteristics. Appropriateness Recognizability Degree to which users can recognize whether a product or system is appropriate for their needs. Learnability Degree to which a product or system can be used by specified users to achieve specified goals of learn to use the product or system with effectiveness, efficiency, freedom from risk, and satisfaction in a specified context of use. Operability Degree to which a product or system has attributes that make it easy to operate and control. User error protection Degree to which a system protects users against making errors. User interface aesthetics Degree to which a user interface enables pleasing and satisfying interaction for the user. Accessibility Degree to which a product or system can be used by people with the widest range of characteristics and capabilities to achieve a specified goal in a specified context of use. Reliability Degree to which a system, product or component performs a specified functions under specified conditions for a specified period of time. This characteristic is composed of the following sub-characteristics. Maturity Degree to which a system, product or component meets needs for reliability under normal operation. Availability Degree to which a system, product or component is operational and accessible when required for use. Fault Tolerance Degree to which a system, product or component operates as intended despite the presence of hardware or software faults. Recoverability Degree to which in the event of an interruption or a failure, a product or system can recover the data directly affected and re-establish the desired state of the system. The sixth one is security. Degree to which a product or system protects information and data so that persons or other products or systems have the degree of data access appropriate to their types and levels of authorization. This characteristic is composed of the following sub-characteristics. Confidentiality Degree to which a product or system ensures that data are accessible only to those authorized to have access. Integrity Degree to which a system, product or component prevents unauthorized access to or modification of computer programs or data. Non-reputation Degree to which actions or events can be proven to have taken places so that the events or actions cannot be reputated later. Accountability Degree to which the actions of an entity can be traced 
uniquely to the entity. Authenticity Degree to which the identity of a subject or resource can be proved to be the one claimed. And the seventh one is maintainability. This characteristic represents the degree of effectiveness and efficiency with which a product or system can be modified to improve it, correct it or adopt it to changes in environment and in requirements. This characteristic is composed of the following sub-characteristics. Modularity Degree to which a system or computer program is composed of discrete components such that a change to one component has minimal impact on other components. Reusability Degree to which an asset can be used in more than one system or in building other assets. Analyze ability Degree of effectiveness and efficiency with which it is possible to assess the impact on a product or system of an intended change to one or more of its parts or to diagnose a product or deficiencies or causes of failures. Modifiability Degree to which a product or system can be effectively and efficiently modified without introducing defects or degrading existing product quality. Test ability Degree of effectiveness and efficiency with which test criteria can be established for a system, product or component and test can be performed to determine whether those criteria have been met. And the eighth one is code ability. Degree of effectiveness and efficiency with which a system, product or component can be transferred from one hardware software or other operational or uses environment to another. This characteristic is composed of the following sub-characteristics. Adaptability Degree to which a product or system can effectively and efficiently be adapted for different or involving hardware, software or other operational or uses environments. Install ability, degree of effectiveness and efficiency with which a product or system can be successfully installed and or uninstalled in a specified environment. Replaceability, degree to which a product can replace another specified software product for the same purpose in the same environment. Now let us talk about the difference between ISO 25010 and ISO 9126. ISO 25010 which was published in 2011 superseded ISO 9126 published in 2001. The main difference between the two lies in how they categorize and define non-functional software quality requirements. ISO 25010 added two additional product quality characteristics to the six specified in ISO 9126, adding security and compatibility. And finally, let us now discuss about why software quality is important. Software quality reflects how well software conforms to the design, but also how it meets non-functional requirements such as security or maintainability as described by the characteristics in ISO 25010. Software quality measurement quantifies to what extent the software rates with regard to each of the characteristics. Within the characteristics, the software can be assessed as to, can be tested, is easy to understand and follow is easy to edit and upgrade without introducing new errors. We have now come to the conclusion of this session. If you have any questions about today's topic, then please feel free to put them forward. See you soon till then best wishes from TNV Academy. Thank you.